prostration to other than Allah is not considered shirk and was permissible for the previous nations and was even practiced by the prophets. In fact, the Quran clear about Allah's order to the angels to prostrate to Adam. Please comment on this statement. This statement is not true in what it aims at. However, it is true in its particular points. So the introduction is completely false. When you say that prostration to others, to other than Allah is not considered shirk, this is by the consensus of all scholars is false. However, it was permissible in previous religions to prostrate to the, uh, their elders and their rulers, as in the case mentioned in Surah Yusuf, peace be upon him, in the Quran, where his siblings fell on the ground prostrating to him, and this was their form of greeting. Yet, not everything that was permissible in previous religions must be permissible in our religion. On the contrary, scholars say what was permissible in other religions must be cross-examined with the Quran and the Sunnah to verify whether it is permissible in our religion, Islam, or not. For example, Allah mentioned in the Quran that Prophet Sulaiman or Prophet Solomon had jinn working for him and they used to make for him statues. And we know that taking statues in Islam is forbidden. So this was in their religion permissible. However, in our religion it is not permissible. As for the issue of the angels being ordered to prostrate to Adam, and this is not considered to be shirk, this is true. Who ordered them to prostrate to Adam? It is Allah. Do you expect an angel to say, sorry Allah, I'm not going to prostrate because this is shirk? Not prostrating is blasphemy. And this is why when Satan was instructed to prostrate alongside with the angels, when he refused to do this, he was doomed in hell forever. And likewise, Allah who instructed the angels to prostrate to Adam forbade us from prostrating to anyone else but him. And in the authentic hadith, when Mu'adh ibn Jabal, may Allah be pleased with him, came back from one of his journeys, and I believe it was to Yemen, he attempted to prostrate to the Prophet والسلام, and the Prophet forbade him from doing this and said, what are you doing Mu'ad? And, and Mu'ad said, O Prophet of Allah, I have seen the Christians greet their rulers in this way so I wanted to greet you in this way and he said, don't ever do such a thing because if I were to instruct someone to prostrate to someone else other than Allah I would have instructed the wife to prostrate to her husband and this is from the Prophet ﷺ to show how important and great the role of a husband is to his wife and Allah knows best.